This video will show you some tips and tricks focused on using your iPad's on-screen keyboard. For this demo, I'll be using the Notes app that is located on every iPad. But the features I'll show will apply to most applications that use the on-screen keyboard. Typing on the on-screen keyboard can take some practice, but many users find it becomes much easier with just a short amount of use. In the next few steps, I'll show you how to activate some of the features of the keyboard that might not be apparent at first glance. First, let me show you how to turn on Caps Lock. You'll notice the Shift keys to the left and the right of the spacebar. By double tapping these, I turn on Caps Lock, and the Shift key turns blue to indicate the Caps Lock is turned on. Next, let's take a look at how to edit existing text. If you find you've made a mistake or would like to edit within an existing block of text, you can place your cursor in the desired position by touching and holding in the middle of the text. You can now type or delete text from where you've placed your cursor. Next, let's look at how to copy and paste text. Let's say I'd like to copy this paragraph of text. If I touch and hold within the paragraph, I can press select and move the blue handles to select more or less text. Then choose cut, copy, or paste options that appear. For this demo, we'll just show copy. <laughs> now that I've copied this text, I can place it elsewhere in this document by touching and holding in the desired area and choosing the paste option. I can also paste the copied text into another application. For example, I could move it into an email message or any other application. Finally, let's talk about special characters on the on-screen keyboard. You can hold down certain letters to access the special characters. As I press down the E and the I keys, you can see a number of special characters appear in a pop-up window. This is just a basic overview of how to use the iPad's on-screen keyboard. If you need more robust foreign language support or have additional questions, be sure to check out the iPad help site bookmarked on your device during the rollout session.